Welcome to Berry Berry Life, bringing you easy and delicious vegan and vegetarian recipes every week. On today's episode, we're making vermicelli upma. This dish originates from the southern part of India, where it's typically served as breakfast. But at the Berry Berry Kitchen, we enjoy it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's just that good. Upma is typically made as a thick porridge of roasted semolina with vegetables and spices. But today we're making a variation with vermicelli noodles. This is an easy recipe that only takes minutes to put together. So let's get started. For this recipe we'll need one cup of vermicelli noodles. These noodles are now readily available. They can typically be found in an Indian or Asian grocery store or in the international aisle at your local supermarket. We prefer these smaller pieces instead of the longer noodles, but either will work for this recipe. We'll also need two tablespoons of oil, half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, very common in Indian cuisine, used in a tempering to infuse the oil, two tablespoons of black gram or urad dal, which adds texture with the chana dal and a little bit of crunch. One tablespoon of split chickpea or chana dal. A half a teaspoon of asafoetida or hing. A half a teaspoon of garam masala for that complex smoky flavor. One teaspoon of red chili powder or adjust it to your spice level. Two teaspoons of salt. We'll use one to boil the noodles and another in the recipe. One tablespoon of lemon juice for brightness. And for the fresh vegetables we'll need two long green chilies, a half of a carrot, one small onion, and about seven to nine curry leaves. If you're new to this channel, glad you could join us. Hit that subscribe button and join our community of foodies. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Also be sure to share it with your friends and family to spread the love. By doing so, you'll be helping to support this channel. And click the bell icon for future upload notifications. We upload recipes every week and you don't wanna miss out. We'll start by bringing four to six cups of water to a boil. To it, we'll add one teaspoon of salt. Now we'll go ahead and add the vermicelli noodles and boil for about two to three minutes. We'll stir occasionally to make sure the noodles aren't sticking to the bottom or to each other. Two to three minutes later, the noodles should be cooked through. We'll go ahead and turn off the heat and strain using a fine mesh strainer. Then we'll rinse the noodles under cold water to stop the cooking process. With the noodles boiled, now we'll go ahead and prepare the vegetables starting with the green chilies. You can cut the chilies any way you want. We're gonna slice it at a bias to get the pieces as long as possible. Now we'll julienne the carrot. For this recipe, we only need about half. We'll slice them relatively thin and we'll try to get as close as possible to the shape of the noodles. It's always important to match the shape of your vegetables to the noodles and pasta in your dish. So when you're mixing, all ingredients mix evenly. This is good, now we'll cut them in half. Why do carrots improve your eyesight? Because they contain vitamin C. And lastly, the onion. We'll use the radial cut for thin slices, again matching the shape of the noodles. We always leave the onions for last because they make our eyes water and you don't wanna be cutting vegetables with blurry vision. Did you hear about the onion that had an allergic reaction? It broke out with chives. With the noodles boiled and the vegetables cut, we can put the recipe together. We'll start by heating a wok over medium heat and to it we'll add oil and allow it to heat up. With the oil hot, we'll add the mustard seeds and allow them to crackle. This will infuse the oil with that mustard seed goodness lending a slight bitterness and an aroma to the dish. Now we'll add the chana dal, along with the urad dal. We'll add these first and allow them to crisp up to a golden hue. If we add these later, they may not cook all the way. Now we'll go ahead and add the asafoetida, or hing, and give it a gentle stir. Then we'll add the curry leaves. We'll want to be careful because the fresh curry leaves may cause the oil to splatter. 
we want to give it a quick stir and add in the vegetables, which causes the temperature of the oil to go down and prevents the curry leaves from burning. We'll start with the carrots because they're a little bit tougher than the onion and the chilies, so they need to cook a little bit longer. Now we'll add the green chilies and the onions. We'll stir fry until the onions are softened. Now we'll go ahead and add a teaspoon of salt. This will help wick away moisture out of the vegetables. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and remember to subscribe to help support this channel. Now that a lot of moisture has been wicked away, we'll go ahead and add the vermicelli noodles along with the red chili powder and we'll gently combine all ingredients together, being careful not to break the noodles. Now we'll add the garam masala and combine everything gently. And with that, our vermicelli upma is almost done. Now we'll go ahead and turn off the heat and add the lemon juice. The lemon juice just adds a pop of freshness and we don't wanna leave it out. You wanna wait until the very end to add the lemon juice. If you add it early in the cooking process, you'll lose vitamin C and it can develop a bitter taste. That's it, the vermicelli upma is done. If you're a fan of rice noodles, then do yourself a favor and try this recipe, especially for breakfast. You can enjoy this with coffee or a chai latte. That steam rising from the noodles is just so inviting. My mouth is watering, I can't wait to dig in. There you have it, vermicelli upma, a taste of southern India from the comfort of your own home. Oh, this just hits the spot. It's spicy, it's savory, and a little sweet from the carrots and the onions. And that bright burst of flavor from the lemon juice really comes across. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe and share this with your friends and family to help support this channel and turn on the bell icon for future upload notifications. We upload recipes every week, so you don't want to miss out. Thank you for watching, and enjoy!